back or welcome if you're new in today's video i'm taking you across four days of mobile home remodeling we live in a single wide mobile home in north carolina and it is a 14 by 70 foot we paid forty seven hundred dollars exactly for this mobile home and i want to share with y'all the process of the rooms that we did these past four days so if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, do all the things for me. It really helps out this channel a ton, reach more people. The more people I can reach with these videos, the more I can share, you know, DIYs on a budget. I can share cleaning motivation that inspires people. It really means a lot to me that y'all share these videos, you subscribe and you comment down below so that it can reach more of you that I'll be able to help. So that is why I do this. I wanna help as many of you as possible and just inspire you, whether it's cleaning your house or doing some remodels, I want to lift you up and encourage you to be able to do those things. And without further ado, let's go ahead, jump into this, leave your positive quotes down below. Some of y'all know that we've been doing that over here, so leave your positive quotes down below, and I will be sure in the next video to read off some of them while we're doing some cleaning and homemaking. But yeah, this is gonna be an exciting video. So I'm not gonna leave you hanging any longer. I'm just so excited to share with you what we are doing today in the first area we are starting out in is our bedroom. We're going to finish it up and then we are going to focus on fixing up our kitchen table because I messed it up and I just wanted to repaint it. So I can't wait. I can't wait to share this with y'all. Okay, let's do this. y'all the paint that we used and the paint colors so for our bedroom this is the paint we used and as you can see <laughs> it is much much darker than what it looks like here but this is the Valspar signature interior paint and primer and it was in the color this one is deep twilight blue so the Sherwin Williams showcase stain blocking paint and primer it says stays clean longer advanced stain scrub resistance one coat coverage guaranteed so we got at Walmart they were 23 or 25 dollars this I think was about 20 dollars and then this one was 36 dollars is also good for a laundry area and bathrooms dealing with the humidity and stuff like that this is a good paint option if you're wanting to paint a bathroom or a laundry area if you're just wanting to paint your walls or your cabinets in your kitchen in your living room this stuff is great this is the Gildan high endurance plus grab-and-go so it's, it's an interior paint and primer and we got it in white and I feel like yeah, eggshell. What I'm doing now is I'm going to show you the before. So here's the before of this. And then I'm just going to take some of my white paint and fix this right here that I messed up. Y'all, I had one of those rollers out right there. And it just went zoom right over here. And you can tell it went right up. And I was like, crap. <laughs> so I need to get this fixed. So this is the before. And here is the after.
and I just did one coat. As you can see right here, I did um, make a little mess, but that's fine because we're actually missing the piece that goes here and we need to cover that anyways. But while the first coat of that paint is drying, we are going to come in the kitchen and like if you've been here, the last video I shared that I had had some water spots on here from leaving a drink and it scratched up the paint. So I just want to go ahead and paint this again. I don't think I ever put um, polyacrylic on the chairs, but the black chairs need to be sanded down because they do have a coat of something on them and so does this. So we're going to sand this down and Aaron told me to use this. He's at work right now. Um, so this is just a hand sander. I'm going to use this first to remove all of this and then I will use this to kind of smooth it down, finish it off, and then I'll probably wipe it down with a um, just a multi-surface spray just to get any kind of residue up. There's a sock over there. Then I'm gonna just paint this white, just the whole thing white, because we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby soon and I'm going to be looking for a tablecloth and then I need some containers.
All right, so I got one coat done on the door. I need to do another one. And I did the door frame a little bit. Also, <laughs> oh, wait. okay, so I have not done the tops yet because I ran out of paint. Um, so it's time for me to take a break, but I've got one coat of paint on this side. Um, I didn't put any tape up there because I am painting the trim white, as you can see. So all of that's going to be painted white anyways, but I'm not going to paint that door, but I am painting this door just so it matches better. Some of y'all told me to paint it. Um, I'm just going to do that. Some of y'all told me to paint this door. That way it matches better with the living room instead of it being brown. So one more coat on there and it should be looking good. I'm listening to motivational speakers in the background while I look like this. But I want to show you all a tip. I will shut this door so y'all can actually hear me. So, um, I haven't watched any videos. By the way, I'm pretty sure I say it in the intro. I haven't filmed that yet. But, I am no professional at all. Like, zero silch none. If you want to know how to remodel your mobile home, I would highly recommend you finding a professional that is kind enough to have a youtube channel sharing their um their knowledge so this is just more of a do it yourself <laughs> type thing so i have some blue tape as you can see i haven't got it up there because i need to get my stool out to do that we can do that later but you can see that it's super messy right just get you one of these. You do not have to worry about learning, lining it up perfectly. All you have to do is find where that little point is and just cut it. And then it will come off, okay? So much easier to do it that way. That way you don't have to feel like you gotta get everything just right because you can just pinch it right off some of them are a little bit more difficult to come off but it's pretty easy let's see Whoop! my hands are shaky y'all i'm doing the old mad diet which is where you just eat once a day and so i don't eat food until like 4 p.m um, so it's three o'clock. I got one more hour to go, but look how nice that is now. So that's it. I'll do that around the whole entire room and then I'm going to get to painting and I will come back when this room is done painted. I know y'all have seen me paint enough, so I feel like you kind of already know what I'm going to be doing, but I did want to show you that because I used to be super weird about putting the tape on there and I'd have to pinch a small piece, put it down, small piece, put it down, line it up, make it perfect. Now I just put a whole big fat piece on there and I will just go straight like that, rip it off. Super easy. So easy. Best tip I could give somebody. Alrighty. I'll see y'all back here in just a second.
All right, y'all, so I'm about to show you Aaron's bathroom, and it's not perfect, <laughs> but I'm really happy with it, and I think he likes it too, so let's go ahead and see what it looked like before. This little basket is from a thrift store and then I just have some hand soap here that little candle thing was from Walmart and then the catch you later gone fishing sign is from Hobby Lobby I got it on a half off sale I love Hobby Lobby when I can get things half off because most of the time it's cheaper than Walmart prices because you know Walmart prices are just always the same the shower curtain is from Walmart so probably like ten dollars and then this little mat right here it covers up the vent it was from Fit, Fab Fit Fun box I had a review for like a long time ago um, and that came with that so this is Aaron's bathroom. Of course, y'all know we're changing the carpet throughout the house. And then, um, I don't know if I want to paint the cabinet white or if I just want to leave it that color but re-stain it that same color so I can hide all of these little scuffs. Because none of this is real wood, y'all know. Um, it's just like made to look like wood. Some people got mad that I painted my white cabinets because I guess they thought they were real wood, but they're not. They're just like these, so they get a lot of damage <laughs> down there. And then the same marble peel and stick that I used for my bathroom, I'm wanting to do in here. That way it all kind of goes together because the green, it's not horrible, but the green really doesn't match the rest of the room. So that marble white peel and stick is going to look so much better in here it is all going to tie in with the shower curtain but I love this so much and let me go ahead and show you the hallway all right so this is what the hallway looks like now and I will show you what it looked like before And now this is what it looks like so this needs to be kind of nailed back in because it's fallen off like that and you can see where he fixed the, the walls the only thing I don't like about white is that it shows everything <laughs> so but it looks so much better than it did y'all remember what it looked like before even the bathroom you remember what it looked like before so the only thing I have to finish in here is one more coat along that door. As you can see up there, I did not finish it, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you all this, but it will look like this up here. So I already finished that. And then there's, you can see the ceiling needs to be painted again. Um, Cause those are really dingy looking, but this is what it would look like after I've painted it because I did do that one strip with some paint and you see the door I went ahead and did two coats on the door and I can shut this to show y'all 
what it will look like now um, in the living room. So now it would look like that to go better with everything else. I'm trying to back up so y'all can see. I have it cleaned in a little bit because we have been busy doing all of this. But that is what the living room door looks like now. And y'all already saw the kitchen table. So I am very happy with how everything turned out. And I hope this just gives y'all some ideas or just some entertainment. <laughs> Not watching professionals <laughs> do something. It's kind of funny because they probably get a lot of things wrong. And so it's just kind of funny to watch. But I think it's nice to be able to do things on your own, especially just painting. I mean, it doesn't have to be like an expert, but that's it. y'all enjoyed today's video and it gave you some inspiration or motivation or just some entertainment because <laughs> I know we probably got some things wrong like I said in the intro but don't forget to leave your comments down below what you think did this inspire you or entertain you and I will see y'all back here in the next video the next video is going to be a super long clean with me we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get a few things that I need for organization and for the table I'm gonna get some cushions and a tablecloth to make it all come together and also I'm gonna have a grocery haul in there so it's gonna be a really fun video you're not gonna want to miss that and I will see y'all back here in a couple of days bye